Well, I think uh, the recent report that came out from the National Federation of Small Businesses clearly pointed out that 25% of small businesses are really worried about their sales. And then to that I would add, they're really worried about cutting their costs and they're looking for ways to become more productive. And I think technologies can certainly help in doing that. So I think there's really three areas. I think helping find more sales, uh, cutting costs, and being more productive or doing more with less. So in the first area, collaboration technologies, uh, WebEx, can certainly help their customers uh, make a better contact with their prospects uh, and have a more trusting and uh, building a relationship without spending too much money on travel costs. And that's the second area is cutting costs. So certainly collaboration technologies can help a great deal with that. The other is to allow employees to work from uh, multiple locations wherever they are. Again, reducing travel costs, but by using secure VPN type technologies and allowing employees to be connected from wherever it's best suited to have them connected. Uh, makes them more productive and uh, also allows you to make sure you have the best people that you can for your particular small business by finding the talent independent of where it is. And then the third area is in the productivity area and largely the technologies of unified communications can help with that. Uh, help by making sure that customer contacts, customer calls are routed very efficiently to the right person and also uh, by having a system that's much more integrated allows you to perhaps not have all the support staff that you would otherwise need in a traditional environment. I think small businesses in particular have to be laser focused on making sure that they're not spending money on anything that isn't helping drive their sales or help them reduce their costs. So the things that they really need to be looking for is how in my particular business can the technologies help. And they'll, they'll come in areas which may not be uh, immediately obvious. You have to look under the surface a little bit. There are areas like securing your data, for instance, which if you think about the downtime of having lost customer records and data, not having it properly backed up and stored, or not being in line with uh, government regulations for uh, tax purposes or HIPAA as an example, can cause your business lots of incremental expense and just take away from, from good selling time. So the technologies can really help with those sorts of things. So I think that's the key thing, is to really make sure that the technologies are going to solve a specific business problem for you. I think small businesses should be very careful to consider the partnerships that they're building. Because as you utilize technologies and bring it mainstream into your business, it becomes part of the business fabric, your operations fabric. And so you want to make sure that you've got a partner and vendors behind that partner that you can trust, you can trust for today and you can trust for the long term as you build your business more and more going forward. Now in doing that you should look very carefully at the breadth of technologies that can be brought into an integrated system over time because you want to try to avoid point type solutions that will down the road lead to more complexity and will lead to uh, incompatibilities. So you're really looking for a vendor and a partner that can bring together all of the aspects of security, communications, uh, uh, collaboration technologies, backup capabilities, video capabilities that you can grow with as your business grows and you can stay with the same set of vendors and partners so that you take the complexity out of it and you're really just working on driving your business results. So these new products are all products that are specifically designed for the small business that help build out our vision of where we want small business technologies to evolve to over time. Specifically, we've got a new spam and virus blocker product that brings technology that previously was only available in an enterprise class environment, packaged purposely for small businesses, very easy to use, very easy to install, and comes in multiple flavors and sizes. We have enhancements to our unified communication system including a new wireless phone, which is the first in the industry, which will allow you to place a desktop phone wireless anywhere in your office so that you don't have to have a network cable available to where you might want to have it. And the third component is our network attached storage, which again comes in multiple sizes and flavors depending on the size of business. But these allow you to continuously back up your vital information so that you don't lose customer records. And again, designed for the small business so it's very easy to install and very easy to use. Well, I think small business has really always been the 
engine of innovation and most uh, governments on a global basis realize this and that's why there are so many stimulus packages coming forward to help small businesses, to help small businesses evolve, create new ideas, generate new business opportunities and really lead us out of uh, this tough economic time that we're in. So I think the reason why you want to invest in technology as a small business is to prepare yourself for that eventual upturn so that you've got the best of technologies allowing you to collaborate using Web 2.0 technologies, unified communication, security capabilities, so that your company is really the best that it can be operationally so you can go forward when the opportunities present themselves and really capitalize.